In this video, we're going to show you how to use the new Microsoft Teams feature, Loop Components. Loop Components are collaborative items that can be added to a Microsoft Teams chat, allowing everyone in the chat to add and edit items alongside one another. They're great for expanding collaboration within Microsoft Teams. To start, select the loop icon within a chat. Then we just need to choose the type of loop component that would work best for your collaboration needs. You can create a bulleted list of items, a checklist with selectable boxes yourself or your team can cross off. You can add a numerical list, a paragraph which allows you to build some text together, a table that you can build and organize, as well as a task list which allows you to assign line items to a specific colleague in your chat and assign a due date to it. That user would just have to be a member of the chat to be able to be assigned. Once you have selected the loop type that you want to add, we'll choose a bulleted list. Give it a subject or title, and then select send. Now you and your colleagues can fill in the loop component together in real time. You can even use this icon to copy a link to the loop component. This will be shareable with colleagues outside of the chat, and when they click the link, it will open the loop in their default web browser, allowing them to access the loop, but not the chat and all the other collaboration. You can select this icon to see who has access to the loop component. So where are these loop components saved? They're actually saved in the user who created the loops OneDrive in an automatically created folder. Remember that you can access your OneDrive by selecting the files view and selecting OneDrive. The loop components that you create are stored within this Microsoft Teams chat files folder where you can see that there are dot fluid file type. Selecting them from here isn't yet available, but you are able to open them up within the online version of OneDrive to edit them online. So why do we use loops? Many people don't know this, but you can also start a chat with yourself in Teams. You can use loop components as a scratch pad. It's also a great alternative to tasks by planner for chats, which isn't available currently. You can also quickly share the link to people outside of the chat and even outside of your organization if your company allows that. This would only give them access to the component and not the chat. Another helpful thing that you can do is you can pin it to your chat by right clicking the loop component and selecting pin, which makes it easily accessible from the chat at any time. Currently, loop components are only available for chats, though we're sure that there are many more features to come. If you have any questions, comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.